Welcome to another video. In today's video, we will be talking about scrolling sites or infinite scrolls. So this is one of the sample sites. If I scroll it, you'll see that new items are loaded dynamically. So F12 will bring up developer toolbox and I'll jump to network tab and instead of all, I'll go to XHR. So let's reload the page and see what happens in the XHR tab. So we can see that there is a call to quotes with parameter page one. And we can see that the response here is all JSON. So this is how this page is working. And if we scroll down, we can see that page two and page three is loaded similarly. Now we can keep scrolling down but we need to find a way where to stop. So let's examine this data carefully. And we can see that it has has next set to true. And this one also has has next equal to two. So it looks like this is the property which will turn into false when there are no more pages to load. Let's go to headers. And we need to see the request method whether it is get or post. So in this case, this is get, so this will make things very easy. In fact, we can just right click, open a new tab, and we can directly see the JSON here. So we should be able to start our scrapping directly from this site. So open the terminal, and let's generate one spider. Let's call it scroll, and fourth parameter as start URL, I'm just going to put X. Let's open this spider in Visual Studio Code. So this is the skeleton of the spider that has been generated by scrappy gen spider command for us. Number one, we don't need to use allowed domain. Let's put it here in start URL. In fact, instead of putting it here in start URL, I'm going to do is, I'm going to create a variable called, let's call it base. Uh, let's call it base and I'm going to paste it here and remove this page number. So we have the base URL and in the start URL, now I have multiple ways of doing this. We, I can do base and then string concatenation by using the plus operator or in fact there is a better way. I'll put a curly braces here, a pair of curly braces. And instead of doing a simple concatenation, let's call the format and then pass on this parameter. So this is safer. So this is our first request that we will be sending and we will have the response here. So now we already know that this is going to be a JSON response. So we need to convert this response into a JSON object. So if you're using scrappy version 2.2, we have a shortcut. We can directly get the data by calling response.json. That's all we need to create a JSON object. So let's try to print this has next, the value of has next. So a very simple print. And I'm going to access this dictionary where the key is has next. So we'll get the value of has next. So maybe let's print page number as well. So let's print page. So let's simply print these two to check that sp the spider is working fine. So let's call scrappy run spider and scroll.py. And it's going to spit out a lot of things. So I'm just going to limit the log level to warnings. Anything below warning is going to be excluded. It will not be printed out. So we should see only the print statements. So yes, so we have true and one and move on. Now what do we need? We need all the quotes. If I just access this dictionary key quotes, what I'm going to get is a list. 
So we'll have to write a loop. So when I run this loop, I will get one item. So I'm directly writing the yield statement. When the loop runs, we will have all 10 quotes. Let's check for has next. Now, if you look at this has next carefully, you will see that it is not surrounded by double quotes. It's not in the string. So this is already a Boolean. So let's take this data and double quotes has next. So if this is true, that means we have more pages to go. We will simply take this base URL. Uh, before that, we need to get the current page. So current page is here. So again, note that this is not surrounded in double quotes. So this is going to be passed as integer. So let's get the current page. So current page is data and this base URL plus format. And here we are going to say plus one. So this is what will give us next page URL. Now that we have next page URL, all we have to do is yield a request and pass on this next page URL. Remember that if you do not provide callback, so like that, if I'm not providing a callback, the default will be parse and we are anyway going to use the parse. So I'm skipping everything. Just yield one request. So let's run this loop. Let's run this spider and see what happens. So we have item scrapped count as 100. Let's scroll up and we can see that it went to page number 10. So this test site actually has only 10 pages of scrolling. So tomorrow if this site has 9 pages or 11 pages, the same code will still work. See you in the next one.